Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's early June 2020 and we now have air-to-air -air mode in the Lightning 2 teapot. For this video, I'm going to assume that you already know how to use the teapot in air-to-ground mode and we're just going to look at the differences with air-to-air -air mode. So the first thing is we can be in any screens here in our two DDIs and if we clicked air to air assuming that we have a teapot then it's going to show the attack radar in the right DDI and air to air mode of the teapot in the left DDI. Obvious differences are that we have a TDC button so we're going to sign TDC by pressing that there or with the usual press of sensor control switch left. Next we can show a reticle or have the reticle masks otherwise for the time being it's pretty much the same as air to ground mode the actual uses for air to air mode are just for vid we cannot or should not employ weapons using the teapot air to air mode there are two ways that we can vid a target from it in fact there is our target there even fully zoomed i cannot tell what type of chopper that is and his iff system is not working so we've got to get a decent vid on him we can either lock him in the fleur here and then if we want from that we can slave our radar onto him so that we can fire a radar weapon if we want or we can lock him from our radar first and then slave our t-pod to the radar lock that way so we'll do the first way first and there are two ways that we can find him on here first of all with vvslv vertical velocity slave on that means that the teapot is going to be slave to that guy there. So we have to maneuver our aircraft so that he is within that circle there. And then he will appear on the screen as he pretty much is there. And then we can lock him. Or we can go to snowplow mode, in which case we would uncheck BBSLV. At that point, and this is a good time to go over our controls, you will use TDC left, right, up down to slew the snowplow mode around to find him manually to assign tdc to the left ddi as you probably all know by now scs left scs left also doubles up as lock so that's how we'll actually achieve a teapot air to air lock once tdc has been assigned to that ddi as well as locking it's also unlock as well as that we can use our undesignate nosable steer switch to undesignate a radar lock and SCS right if we want to assign the TDC to the radar screen. So first let's try snowplow mode without the VVSLV. I'm going to assign the TDC to this screen manually like that. You can see we've got the diamond there and you can see I can move it around like this. I put him inside the crosshairs like that and when he's just like that I press SCS left and that should require the lock. Now this can be difficult due to parameters that I don't understand, probably to do with range and contrast and whatnot, whether or not you'll actually get the lock. So let's try. So I'm not getting them at the moment for whatever reason. It's annoying because it just worked a few minutes ago, but let's try like that. No, just whatever reason, his range, his aspect, his movement, his contrast, some reason, I'll even try Fleur quickly. Oh, I've got him. Got him with Fleur. Just found a contrast easy to track with Fleur. So we now have the T-Bod track and it will follow him wherever he goes. We can now zoom in to make the ID. And I can see pretty clearly that that is that's what CH53 Stallion. Also, because I only have a Fleur lock in him and not a radar lock, you can see under the target designation box, we have an F there and it says Fleur there. Now, if I want to slave my radar to that T-Pod lock, I'm going to press slave there. Out of interest, I can also silence the radar. So if I wanted to be super sneaky and not have any radar emissions, still, radar is now silenced. But instead of that, I'm going to slave and it's automatically got a BBR style radar lock on him, which is great. So I can now employ weapons if I want. So now let's scratch everything. Let's get right back to the beginning. I'm going to ditch this uh, back to snow plow mode. Just reset everything just to make it a fair test. Okay, that's just back to snow plow, just pointing five degrees down or whatever it is, the standard. Uh, over to the radar, I'll sign TDC to the right screen. We're going to ditch that, return to search with nosal steering. Okay, we're back to standard. This time we're going to do it the other way around. So we're going to get a lock on him, BBR style. I'm going to press TDC depress, which I forgot to show earlier. I now have a radar bug on him. And what we're going to do now is click RRSLV, radar slave. So click on that. And it's now slave the teapod to him like that. So that way we've found him with the radar. We've slaved our teapod and then we can go in 
and make our, in this case, a CCD ID, our stallion. Only thing that I forgot to point out there is that if I get a Fleur lock first, then I slave the radar to the Fleur, we will get a C underneath here saying that it's a correlated lock between the Fleur and the radar. That's all we've got to show with the air-to-air -air functions of the teapot at this time. I hope that's useful and see you later.